Hello, uh, I'm Dan Anderson, and today I'm going to show you how to charge my trailer from my um, car. So I have a Toyota Highlander Hybrid 2023, and one of the nice features of it is it has two 120 volt power outlets. One is behind the front seat, and another is in the back with the uh, cargo, um, and it could pick up to... Yeah, you could use up to 1,500 watts um, out of the, one of those outlets or, or both um, total, which is very nice. Um, because usually when I charge the trailer, I use about, it takes about 525 watts. So that's plenty there. Um, again, I, I am charging my Armadillo backpack trailer. It's a 14 foot uh, molded fiberglass trailer. And I have a 400 amp hour battery in it. I upgraded it from a 100 amp hour battery and that lasts several days. Um, and I have several video on upgrading the battery. Um, I My guess is if I use 50 amp hours a day, and that's pretty generous, that allows for like a lot of furnace use. And, and um, it would take about eight days. That's draining from 100% to 0%. Probably seven days. Um, if Because usually you don't want to drain below five percent um so if i'm camping like eight days I, I should be fine but it'd be nice to have a little bit more margin um i also have solar panels uh 100 watt panel on the roof another 100 watt foldable panel and those are really nice but if it's cold if it's shady or if i'm not out by the trailer all day um moving my panels around out of the shade um i may not get the charging i want there so this is really good for like when it's cold in the fall or early spring um, where you not may not necessarily have the charging power, but you really need to use electricity to run your um, furnace fan. Um, now, if you use, if you tr need to have a generator, uh, you can use a generator, um, especially, and that's a good choice if it's your frequent or go-to choice, but this is more of a backup thing. Um, because you know, running a car all the time is kind of wasteful, um, even if even if this is a hybrid. Um, but as a good backup, a third backup source, it's um, acceptable. And it's really nice to have that option. Um, so next I'm going to show you how to do this. So to charge a car, you need to do th two, three things. Turn the car on, of course. Um, and you need to turn on the AC outlets um, because it enables an inverter. You don't want the inverter running all the time, but when the AC button is on, it has an inverter to convert the battery, 12 volt battery to um, 120 volt. Then you also need to, of course, plug it, plug it in. So let's do that. So let's turn the camera around so you get to see the car and not me. Okay, let's see, hard to see with the steering wheel here. Turn. I'll turn on. And that turns on the car right now. It's in EV mode and we'll turn on the the battery or the, <laughs> it'll turn on the engine to charge the battery needed and then the EV button goes away as it did. The button for the AC inverter is on the left. Uh, it's hard to see in the dark there. It's um right, you know, the below and the right, left of the dash and steering wheel, you just press that and the light should go on for the AC. So next, you need to plug it in. There's, the outlet is back here, kind of hard to see in the dark. There's a little cover for it. See, it says AC 120 volt, 100, 1500 watts. So you lift that dust cover up. You get your plug here, your, um, and this goes into the trailer. You just plug it in there. And that's it. Okay, I'm in the trailer now and we're looking at the dials. Um, you can see that it's charging at 520 
one or two watts there. And you see this flashing display at the bottom. Uh, it would be a little bit uh, better if we had the lights off. Let's turn those off. And it goes up to 530, 529 watts with, when you're not using any electricity here except we're charging the battery. Um, at, at 351 amp hours right now, that's 88%. And that's pretty good. Um, that's about the same as I would be doing um, just plugging into um, shore power. In fact, it's, it's a little bit better. Um, I remembered it was like 450 when I was in um, shore power. So it's fully charging up to its, its max there. Um, as I said earlier, you could charge the car. The car outlets um, could provide up to 1500 watts of electricity um, the outlets at 120 volts. And it's only using about 520 something watts. So it's not even straining that maximum power there. Okay, here we are one hour later. Uh, we charged the battery from 351 amp hours to 394 amp hours. That is, it went from 88% to 99%, and that's pretty good in one hour. Um, one warning about the Toyota Highlander hybrid is that it, the hybrid system shuts off automatically after one hour. So after one hour, it stops charging the trailer, unless you do one of two things. Let me turn the camera around here. So as I said, the hybrid system turns off after one hour unless you do one of two things. Um, either you lock it from the inside of the car using the, the, push, the push button locks, or you use a manual key and lock it from the outside. So if you just use the, the key fob, it um, doesn't count. So it has to be locked specifically from the inside or from the manual key. And that way it will charge for more than one hour. The hybrid system will stay on for more than one hour. Although one hour is plenty of charging up, in my case, about um, um, 45 amp hours is, is, is plenty because, you know, what I've been doing is budgeting 50 amp hours a day and that's, um, pretty liberal there because usually I just use 27 amp hours a day in the in the fall when I have occasional heating at the with the furnace at night, keeping it between 50 60 degrees Fahrenheit. That is between um, what 10 and 15 degrees Celsius. So, um, so that that one hour should be plenty. But if you want more, just do one of those two things. And if you don't have a Highlander, you should have a car that um, could provide 500 watts or more. You know, some some of these 120 volt outlets, they only provide um, like 100 or 150 watts or something. So make sure they provide about 500 watts because right now we're consuming, or it's the battery is charging using 539 watts. Um, some of that's the light here. So it's about 500 watts. Um, well, so some safety considerations. Keep the car in park while you're doing this. Um, <laughs> uh, neutral is not good enough. Um, um, for, for one thing, the hybrid system does not charge the battery when it's in neutral. It only charges when it's in park. It, it also charges in drive, but you, we're not driving around. We're just parking, charging the trailer. Um, have the parking brake on. Um, it has to be above freezing. In my case right now, it's a, it's a winter, early winter day, January 2nd in Oregon. Um, it's, it's 40 degrees outside and 50 degrees inside the, the trailer. I, I have a, a, a low wattage um, boat heater inside here. Um, at, that translates to five Celsius or 10 Celsius. So that's above freezing. Um, also, the car it generates exhaust. Um, you don't want that exhaust pointing pointing towards the furnace intake if you're sleeping inside the trailer, or even if you're not. So keep that 
don't point that exhaust towards the, the furnace intake of the trailer. And also make sure it's not blocked by snow. Um, and also, of course, don't do this in a garage or a other similar building. Um, let's see. So basically, that this really shows the usefulness. It really does um, charge up my my battery. Um, to review the specs here, I have a 400 amp hour battery inside the, this trailer. It's a 14 foot molded fiberglass trailer, armadillo um, backpack trailer. Um, it was upgraded. It, the, it came with a 100 watt hour, no, 100 amp hour battery, and I decided that was not enough. Um, but 400 seems to be fine. I think I could even do with 300, but, but you know, for, I was able to get the 400 amp hour battery to the same form factor, and, and it was a, a, just a drop in replacement um, for the battery. It's a heavier, of course. It was like a 75 pound battery. Um, but it is lithium, and so it worked well, it's worked well for me. Um, the car battery, it's a hybrid. Um, I have a Toyota Highlander hybrid, and the battery is um, 1.1 1, 1 .1 kilowatt hours. Uh, so that translates to about 90 amp hours at 12 volts. So, and when I was charging during the past hour, um, let's see, the car was only on for about um, 12 minutes. So I'd say roughly about a quarter of the time the car was on another time, it, it, the, it was able just to just use the hybrid battery to charge the trailer battery. So that's pretty good. It's not like it's belching fumes all the time. And certainly a lot quieter than a generator. Although I suspect the generator is, is, is more efficient just because it's dedicated to one task of providing electricity. And so I, I'm very happy with the result here is that I could use the, the, the Toyota Highlander battery as a backup um, after if I, if I really need it. Because sometimes I do want to go for long periods of time and I, without, and I kind of avoid hookups sometimes. Um, national parks usually don't have hookups. Um, like, like next year, for example, I want to spend a week. And, or more than a week actually in Yellowstone, another week in Grand Tetons, that's about 14 days. So if I use 27 amp hours a day, I'll probably use more like 30 to 40 amp hours a day. I, I really would not like to have that um, option to have um, to recharge my battery. Um, there is a couple of campgrounds. I may stay a couple of nights and get in some campgrounds with power. There's the Fishing Bridge Campground in Yellowstone has power, but it's a it's a very crowded RV park. Uh, Grovant Campground in Grand Teton also has has um, power in one of its loops, so I may do that. Um, and also that has the advantage that you're not staying near um, the, the other loops, which, which some of the other loops allow generators, which I just do not like. Um, I just don't like the noise of them. Um, and just too many people have external or industrial or um, generators um, as opposed to the more quiet inverter generators. If you have a generator, use um, please use a um, um, inverter generator. They're a lot more quiet. So I hope you like this video. Until um, next time, bye.